Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'm going to be doing a head shave, hopefully a quick head shave. I'm going to be using a soap to bring a bit of a warmer set. It's a bit cooler here today. I'm exhausted after work today. So I'm going to be using goat's milk shaving soap, vanilla patchouli, I think it's by Wrigleyton. This was actually sent over by Mohammed Pierre from River Valley Training. It's a goat's milk shaving soap, actually handcrafted. It's got fresh goat's milk, saponified oils, avocado castor, coconut, shea butter, stearic acid and essential oils, and the scent of vanilla patchouli. What I've done is comes in a puck similar to fine, the, the little fine pucks, fine accoutrements. So what I've done is I've grated it and then squished it into the bottom of the bowl. You can actually see all the gratings there, the way it's grated. And the scent on this is so sort of, it smells creamy, vanilla, and then I'm assuming it's the patchouli that I'm smelling. But it's very, very nice. And let's just see how we go on. I'm just going to fill the bowl up with some cold water. So I'm jumping straight into the deep end here with a head shave first time with this soap. Let's just see how we go on with it. Just dip in the brush. Look out some of the excess. The brush today is the Celtic Leo Frio Custom Brush. Celtic Football Club. Champions of Scotland. And here we go, just straight into the dry soap. And let's just see. Now when I was grating this one up, putting it in here, I obviously got some on my hands. And when it was on my hands, it was pretty damn slick. So I'm hoping it's going to be slick straight out of here as well. Now these little tubs, these are little Sistema tubs, they're absolutely brilliant. It's got a, an airtight rubber seal on the lid, so you, know, you don't have to worry about your, any air getting into your soap when it's stored. The only thing is, is it's got the, as you can see, the indentation, which catches all the lather, or the pro lather or whatever you want to call it. we get a good load on you, because I'm... Uh, am I going to bowl lather? I mean bowl lather. Even though this isn't my bowl lather brush. Right, I think I've got enough in the brush there itself. It's absolutely caked. I'm just going to scoop out all the proto lather. And pop it into my Sapona feature where I've seen a bowl. I'll scoop it out as best I can. That's all the proto lather in there. Got my brush, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of water into the bowl. Just like that, I hope you can sort of see that little bit of water flowing in the bottom there. I probably need more than that because this brush is pretty damn loaded. But that's fine, you can add water to, to your soaps but you can't take it away. Certainly a very thirsty soap, as you can see, I've dipped the tips already and it's taking quite a bit to get going here. But it looks like it's going to be a nice lather. Just dip the tips again. And again. There we go, starting to grow now. It's not um it's not actually a great brush, bush. not a great brush for bowl lathering because it's got a very short handle so I feel like I'm having to really hold on to it. The, the brush guide brush, which is my sort of main go-to bowl lathering brush now, it's got that much longer, more ergonomic handle, so it's much more comfortable to, to hold when you're smashing out a lather in the bowl. Oh yeah, this looks like it's going to be a great lather. As you can see it's starting to really thicken up. I'm just going to dip the tips again because it's Probably a little bit too thick. Just a couple of dips of the water there. Now if this is anything like the River Valley Trading Soaps, then I'll be on top winning because they are absolutely superb. And if you haven't tried them, try and get hold of them. Beautiful. 
Set strength. It's all medium, I'd say probably around about a five. There's nothing that knocks your socks off, but it's a nice warm vanilla scented soap that lathers an absolute treat. Right, okay. Let's wet the head. Into it. So I hope everyone had a good Monday or is having a good Monday because it's still only 25 past 5 in the, in the morning in many places in America just now and it's still early morning or late morning in the UK while I'm doing this shave. And the knot in this brush is, the, is not the game changer. The knot is the tuxedo. 24mm tuxedo knot, set at 55mm. And that's pretty much spot on for me. It's, quite, it's, got, it's got excellent backbone, so you don't need a lot of... You need quite a bit of loft in it for it to splay. This lather is superb. I hope it's slick. I really hope it's slick. Right, Mueller R41. I've got the second use of the Treat Platinum Blade in here, which is the orange and white pack. And first shave with it was absolutely great. The reason I've kept it in again for a second shave is it's quite a thick blade. It feels very similar to the Kai. So let's see if we can get two shaves out of the one blade. Pretty smooth. Rinses off nice in the cold water, which is great. Sometimes I just wish I was ambidextrous and could do the, the left side with my left hand and the right side with my right hand. I may at some point. To show how the how the residual slickness is, it didn't feel too great there. But 
that it feels pretty good It's a pretty good first pass. It's not, um, I don't think there's much residual slickness here, but we'll soon see in a second whenever I rinse my head down. I don't think there's much residual slickness, which is what I really require for a head shape. No, I don't know, feels pretty good. I've got enough lather here to do plenty of passes, that's for sure. Excellent lather. I'm looking forward to trying it on my face. See how it goes. Scent strength is actually surprisingly pretty good. I wasn't expecting it to be this strong. But the scent strength's up there, it's probably around about a six at the moment, which is nice. I do like a stronger scented silk. So all I'm doing on this second pass, because I've only got one day growth, I'm basically going over the exact same areas twice, trying to take down all the hair down and then I just do a bit of a pick up on my crown. And that's me pretty much done, I don't really have too much more to do than that. So by quick head shave I mean less than 30 minutes. <laughs> This is actually very good. I 
I didn't think it was going to be, I thought it was going to be pretty average. Now, I don't need to just add water because I've got so much lather left, I'm just going to just touch my head up there with the lather. Wet my fingers and then just give it a bit of a rub. So this isn't really residual slickness that I'm using, I'm sort of using the lather, but there is some element of residual slickness at the moment. And it's working a treat. If I'm honest, I think what's happening here, it's taking me even longer than normal. Because the blade's going blank. So that's really not helping matters. So let's get this water into it. Shave. Cannot really argue with stuff like that. <laughs> the lather was great, soap smells great, works great. Mohammed only appears to use soaps which are of a very high quality. He's actually still got in stock some old stock of Shaver Heaven. So if you're in South Africa, you head over to River Valley Trading. I think the actual site is bitter by. Bit of by River Valley Trading, and they've got it on there. Some Shaver Heaven as well, which is coming back out new this year. Humphreys Lavender, so you don't have to buy the old stuff, but it does stock it. I tell you one thing: you get from the Humphreys that you don't get from Thayer's generally, even with the alcohol Thayer's, you get a good burn from it. It's a lovely burn on that lavender. It's got a lovely scent, really warming scent, so it's almost like a warm, warm heat from the burn and then the warm scent from the lavender, it's really, really nice. The soap today was vanilla patchouli goat's milk shaving soap. I'm not quite sure who makes it, I can only imagine that it's Wrigley tin, down the bottom it's got Wrigley tin. I'm not really 100% sure what the manufacturer's called. Just rinsing the brush out. So the brush was the Leo Frio Custom Celtic Hoops brush, Celtic Football Club. 24mm tuxedo knot. Oh, it's just so soft. Now for those of you out there that are desperate to get your hands on a black wolf knot, this is a black wolf knot. I know Peter says it's not. That his knots are they are made for him, he orders them, he gets them made specifically, they are called the Black Wolf. It's the same knot as that, so they're pretty much, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm concerned, it's the same company making that knot. But, Black Wolf sounds better, and I can only get the Black Wolf from Peter Wolf at Wolf Whiskers. And you can also get them in the MB Shave brushes as well from Nathan Clark, the 25mm fan knots. So, 
highly, highly recommend the knot. It's easily the nicest knot that I've ever used. And it'll take a damn, damn good knot to beat it. I know a lot of you guys out there still use natural hair, or use natural hair, not still, but use natural hair. So it's, I'm a synthetic guy, prefer it. Don't have any natural hair brushes at all anymore. Mula R41, second use of the treat platinum blade in there. Now this one is a, the R41 twist, so twist the bottom. Got a slightly thicker handle than the normal R41. Top comes off, which is a two piece razor. And that blade will go in the bin straight after this. And is that everything? I spoke about everything. And then moved on to the Humphreys lavender witch hazel. Is it dried in yet? Yeah, pretty much. And I'm just going to finish off with the good old why not? I absolutely love this stuff. Nivea two phase aftershave lotion. Give it a good shake. Kick and menthol from this stuff is superb, and the post shave feel is unreal. I've actually got quite a bit of irritation today. Not irritation, just burn. So I can only imagine that because I've used that blade twice now, it's just not, it, it's not cut as well. And it wasn't in the end. I was really struggling with it. It felt like it was really blunt, which is why the Kai blade, which I got 12 shaves out of, is just mind-blowing. I got 12 comfortable shaves out of that. And I mean comfortable, not... There, wasn't, there was never a point where I thought, oh, I need to chuck this in the bin. I could probably get another one or two of it. I just threw it in the bin out of principle <laughs> because it could have been the everlasting blade. I should really have framed it and stuck it on my wall. But anyway, guys, that is me done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, considering how quick it was. Just over 20 minutes, which is pretty good for me. But I've got no next cuts or bumps. I've actually got... I don't know whether you guys can see that. I've actually got a bit of razor rash. Just on here. It's not... It's not raised up, which is good. So it's not raised a bump, but I've got I've definitely got a bit of redness on the side there, and I, I think it's the blade, if I'm honest. Might be the soap. I might have had a bit of a reaction to the soap. I'm not sure, but oh yeah, very nice soap. It is lovely. So I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, I believe it's down this side. Click on the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time. So stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.